Hi, it's me, Alma, from TwinsMommy.com. Today I'm going to show you how to install the social media sh uh, share buttons for your new blog. All right, so this is going to be a free sharing buttons for you. Okay, so once you're in your back end website on WordPress, go to plugins and add new. From here, search for Sumo. and activate the Sumo plugin right here. So install, then activate. Once you do that, you'll get a new menu item on your sidebar for Sumo. So click on that. And then um, you need to connect Sumo to your blog. So this is where I'm gonna click, cause I can see that it says. And I'm going to set up an account. Since I've already done that, I'm going to go there. And let's see if I remember my password. Okay, so it's asking me the, uh, the site that I'm going to activate. This is my testing site to show these things. So I'm going to click on that one to activate now. All right. So right now we're going to activate and what we're gonna be doing. Now this is showing all the prices and all that, but right now we have a free account. So we're gonna continue with the free account. And what I'm only gonna focus on are my social share buttons right now. Now Subo has a lot of different things that you can play around with um, that I'm not gonna show you right now, but have fun looking at all the cool things that you can do with Sumo that are, you know, for free. So we're gonna activate our sharing buttons. Don't want to connect to my Facebook, but um, if you do want to do Facebook share counts or like counts, then you do not have to connect your Facebook to Sumo, but I'm not going to do that right now. Okay, so I'm going to activate, and this is where you can play around and have fun with all your buttons. So let's go to the settings. So you can put whichever um, accounts that you want to show. Right now, it's going to show Facebook, Twitter, Google, and Pinterest. Now, you can remove some, so I can remove Google. And I can put Pinterest first. I can play around with what I want. Um, I don't want email. Um, and then, let's say maybe I want to use, um, what's a good one? Instagram. Is it around here somewhere? I guess they don't have a sharing for Instagram, eh? All right, LinkedIn, yes, that one I like. All right, so those are the ones that I want to um, have on my blog. Now, what's neat is that uh, the social share counts um, can be smart, meaning that it will only have a threshold for when they start showing those share counts. Um, so you can play around also with how many buttons you wanna see at a time. So I only have four, so that's fine. Um, I can call whatever I want on top of these share buttons. Call it shares or likes, favorites, whatever I want. So I'm going to leave that as default. You can also change the background color of whatever you feel like. Right now, I'm just going to leave it at the default settings to show you what it would look like. But again, this is very customizable and you can have uh, large buttons, small buttons. You can show them if they want them square or round. I'm going to actually do rounded and see what that looks like. Um, and then here are the minimums. So only show the share count when there are at least this many shares. So for me, if there are at least 50 shares, then start showing that number. Um, you can toggle on or off to display the share counts again with all these aggregate share counts. I'm not going to worry with about that. And let me just look over here if there's everything here. So I'm going to do the oh, save and layout. So um, there are many different places you can put your share buttons. So I'm just, I like them on the side. So that's the place that I'm going to have them. And I'm just looking and seeing how all that works. Maybe within the blog post here and at the bottom. Okay, so I, it says here, 
bottom left of article, bottom center. Let's do center. All right, let's try that and save. Okay. Now you can go through all of these, but I don't need to. Everything should be good. All right, so once you've done that, you can go to your site. I don't have much on here. And okay, there you go. So here's my first blog post. And there are my social sharing accounts right there. And it's at the bottom. How great is that? Perfect. So if someone wanted to pin this, they would pin it. Now I don't have a pin image for this blog post, but once I do, it would grab that. Perfect. Okay, there you go. That's how you get social media share buttons with Sumo.